Well, good day, family. Pastor Jamal here, Rising Ground Church. I'm jumping right in. So I have uh, been juggling with this scripture for the last 24 hours. Uh, I feel like the Spirit has, has um, given me something to say about it. You, you ever have something, man, it's, it's bubbling in you and you, you just can't, you just can't consciously see the words. You feel, you feel it and you feel it to its core, but you're just kind of struggling to, to, to grasp the words for what you feel the Lord is trying to reveal through you in this moment. So this is one of those moments, man, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to dive in. I've been trying to figure out which 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 direction to come. So I'm just going to just I'm just going to say I'm going to say I'm going to read the scripture and I'm just going to say whatever comes out of my mouth <laughs> How about that. So the scripture comes from Isaiah 53, 5. And it, this is we've heard it all the time. We heard it our whole life. <laughs> but it says, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him and by his wounds we are healed. We've heard it a billion times. So, and I think that same scripture either before or after, I think after goes on to talk, talks about, you know, everything that Jesus went through and, um, you know, it was the father's plan and because of what he did and what he went through, um, his God's righteous servant, Christ, makes other righteous servants out of us when we believe. Now, belief is, is a, in this moment, for me, it's a really limited word as it relates to what I feel like the Spirit is trying to get us to understand and see. And again, this is one of those identity, these new creation identity pieces or passages where God is trying to get us to 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 buy into what we already have been given because of Jesus's sacrifice. So what he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Iniquities, uh, though that's the inward sin. That's the stuff, man, that God just detests. You know, those hidden things that uh, we have inside of us just bubbling and bubbling over at times. You know, well, what is it when it's when it's when a, when a murder is premeditated? That, that means you thought about it and you thought about it and you thought about it and then you acted on it. So you get more time when, you know, when it's it's coming from the inside. So iniquity is one of those things. But it says that he was crushed for our iniquities. So that means that there is nothing that we can possibly do to finish what's already been finished. Meaning you, you, you can, we, we hear this all the time. You can't work for salvation, but it's not, it's more than that. It's more than just saying, you know, I, I can't, I can't uh, uh, work to earn God's good graces or whatever. And then, and then, then remember when, you know, and I've said this a billion times too, where it's like, you, you know, it's, it's the faith that moves God faith is the thing that pleases God. And then we make that to be the, the remedy or the recipe or the strategy for deliverance and breakthrough and all kind of levels and things. But this is the truth. First off, we will always be being faith or using some kind of faith because God is invisible. So whatever God is telling you, whatever he's putting on your heart, it's, it's, it's going to take faith to believe it. And then it's going to take um, you, you know, the, the action, which is to walk in the direction of what you believe to accomplish whatever it is that you can accomplish from going with it or going towards it. Right. So that means that if Jesus was pierced and crushed for our iniquities and our transgressions, then it's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. It's finished. What is finished? What's finished is there's nothing else you could possibly ever do to be saved outside of accepting the gift that Christ gave you. What is the gift? The gift is you are seated with you are you are seated in Christ with Christ in heavenly places. So you are Christ is in you. You are in Christ and the both of you are in the father. So when 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 that is 
When that's the target and that's the goal, that's what we use. If we use faith for anything, we use our faith to believe what's already ours. So then what's already ours has to be outpictured in this physical experience. So meaning, man, if I'm a Christ, if I believe in Jesus and I've accepted it and I'm a Christ, then that has to mean then there is a visible representation that I have to display in this earth, confirming even to me that what I believe in is accurate and true. But this has been the dilemma. I don't think that's 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 a stretch for us to, to grasp or believe. But the dilemma has been we've been using our faith to try to finish a work that's already finished. And God doesn't respond to that. God can't. God is like, no, it's already done. What, what, what are you doing? So if, if you're trying to do something to get saved or to get delivered or to get transformed outside of accepting Jesus, accepting the gift, which is you are a new identity in Christ. You have to be and walk in this identity in order for life to truly change and transform. And, and we know life ain't about just good times for us, but, but, it, but it's, it's about, you, you know, deliverance and peace. You know, I came to set the captives free. I came for the lost. I came for the poor. I came for those who do not have a perspective outside of being traumatized and damaged. I came to give you a new perspective so you can unlock new possibilities in you and for you and with you and through you and for everybody else. But we have to accept the, 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 the truth and we have to accept what God did. There's nothing that you can do to getting God's good graces. There's nothing that you can do to be more saved. There's nothing that you can, can, can do to um, add to what Jesus did to make it Jesus plus this, plus this, plus this equals salvation. It's already accomplished. Salvation is being saved from all kind of things. It's, it's impending danger. It's danger. It's sickness. It's, it's, it's damnation. It's all of these things. But it only comes through the, the it only comes through the Christ. There's the, the what is the scripture that says um, he has shown you this, the, uh, the, the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure purposed in Christ. So that means everything that the father planned and he accomplished, it's it's accomplished and it's done and it's won and it's experienced only through the image of Christ. So you got Christ Jesus, you accepted Christ Jesus, you accepted that now I am a Christ along with Jesus. I am in, in Christ and Christ is in me. So then that means you look a, you, you look a particular way, you, um, you think a particular way, and as a result, you witness particular things. You witness supernatural exploits. You witness the mind and the power and the authority of God because that's what it was always intended to produce. I hope it makes sense, people. Pastor Jamal Rising Ground Church, that's all I got. Talk to me. Peace.